Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I want to show you this Berlin sketchbook that I bought a few months ago. This is by Fabrice Monroe and this is a wonderful travelogue watercolor sketchbook. Let's take a look at what's inside. I actually have quite a lot of sketchbooks by Fabrice Monroe, many watercolor sketchbooks. So Berlin sketchbook was published last year in 2015. So every time Fabrice Moreau releases a new book, I will definitely buy it because I love his watercolor sketches that are drawn in pencil and then overlaid with such beautiful watercolors. So right now you are looking at the introduction, the history of Berlin. There is a lot of stories um, in for Berlin because of its association with the war. However, the introduction also covers um, the reconstruction, the history after the war, so it's not just all about the war but many of the things that developed after that. And it's not political in any sense, it's just um, a matter of fact. Many of these places are new to me, I've not seen them or heard of them before other than the Berlin Wall of course and looking at all these sketches it really makes me want to visit this place or visit all the buildings and all the alleyways just look at the architectural these are so beautiful he also captures people walking on the street the power lines, the power cables The downside of the book, well, uh, for me it has always been the handwritten font that, is, that they use for the text, uh, which is to me quite difficult to read. But it does add, um, it does feel natural when you have handwritten text to accompany the watercolors. Well, this is quite unusual for him because I don't see any pencil lines, so this is actually just a pure watercolor painting. Compared to his other sketches, other sketches you can see the pencil lines like this. You can see that he doesn't always color the whole piece. He will leave some of the uh, sketching uh, white, uncolored, but you can still see some of the detail there. So the colors really draw attention while the black and white part will just um, play a supporting role. Wow, check out the texture on this building. This is so wonderful. I love the way he gradates colors. The clouds are also very beautiful. Check out this scene. This is there's so much detail and bicycles are very difficult to draw and he drew quite a few here. This book is about, I would say, slightly larger than A4. So when you open it up, it's almost A3 size and many of these sketches are quite big. You can just take a look at my hand here and compare it to the size of the book. And lastly, we have a map of all the places that he has went to. I think this is quite useful for people who want to visit the same places, to want to check out all the places that he drew. So this is the map. And it's very interesting that he used a cobblestone texture for the whole map. Very nice. I highly recommend this sketchbook for anyone who loves sketching watercolor, traveling. This book is very insightful and it's very beautiful. Let me take a look at the number of pages. There are 
94, 96 pages of beautiful artwork. So this is really well worth the money. I will post a text link to where you can buy it in the video description below. So if you want to support me, you can uh, buy it through the link below. And that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more art book, sketchbook reviews in the future and also sketching tips and techniques. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.